equation x squared minus kx plus k equals zero where k is a positive constant has two equal roots prove that k is equal to four so that looks like a positive so that's that bit done. Um, and does it have two equal roots? So what we're saying is x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. And that should have equal roots. OK. Well, if we factorize this, we get x minus 2 and x minus 2, which equals 0. And that will multiply out to give us x squared minus 2x minus 2x, gives us minus 4x minus 2 minus 2 plus 4. OK, which is two equal roots. So, yes, done. So by using k equals 4, it shows that it has two equal roots and a positive. Finished. Okay. Question 23. So basically doing it by exhaustion on that last one. Uh, prove that the distance between opposite edges of a regular hexagon size length root 3 is a rational value. Oh, that's good. Okay. So what's that? A regular hexagon. So that's a six-sided shape. So we're saying that one, two, three, four, five, six. And it has a side length of root three. And prove the distance between opposite edges. So we want to know that that distance there is rational. OK, what do we know about a regular hexagon? What we know about a regular hexagon is that it's made up of lots of regular triangles, which all are root 3. So if we take one of these, we know that it is root 3, root 3, root 3. So we've got root 3 over 2 and root 3 over 2, which means the height using Pythagoras is going to be root 3 squared minus root 3 over 2 squared, which gives us 3 minus 3 quarters Um, which gives us, what does it give us? Uh, 3 fourths, 12, 12, 15, 12, 17, 15, no, 12, 9, 9 is a takeaway, 9 over 4, which gives us no square root anymore, 3 over 2. So, distance between sides is equal to 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 which equals 6 over 2 which equals 3 that is rational okay okay question 24 have a look. 
prove that the difference of the squares of two consecutive even numbers is always divisible by four. Okay. Prove the difference. square of two consecutive even numbers is divisible. Okay, so what are we saying here? We're saying something like if we take 4 and 6, they are, they are two consecutive even numbers, and that the squares of them are 16 and 36. And if we then do 36 minus 16, we get 20, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. It is, but now we need to prove that for all results. Okay, so first things first is we need to have a square, we need to have a consecutive even number. So how do we make an even number? We double a number. So we take a number and we double it. It is now even. Okay, what's the next consecutive even number after that? It is going to be that even. that done we have been asked to square them and then the right hand side here will always be bigger and so we'll be taking away the left hand side in essence okay and we want to see if that's divisible by four so if we quickly multiply it out let's multiply out this right hand side one here First, let's get 4n squared um, plus 2n uh, plus 4 minus 4n squared for this right hand side. The 4n squared is cancelled, leaving us 8n plus 4, and we can take out a factor of 4, leaving us 2n. Plus 1, thus a factor of 4. Okay. Okay, it now asks Is this statement true for odd numbers? Give a reason for your answer. Let's look at some consecutive odd numbers. Uh, we could have 5 and 3. And when you square them, you get 25 and 9. And when you take them away, 25 minus 9 is 16. And that is divisible by 4. But what about um, 7? Take away 25 equals 24. Still divisible by 4, isn't it? Okay. So, do we need to see if this is true for all odd numbers as well? We could try. Um, I'm willing to go one more on the examples here. So, let's go 9 and 7. So, we get 81. Take 
32. And that is divisible by 4. OK. So, how do we get an odd number? OK, we take any even number. And we add 1 to it. And then we are going to take the even number, which has 1 added to it, and add 2 to it to get the next odd number. And we're going to square them and take them away. So what's that? That gives us a plus 3 in there, doesn't it? So 2n plus 3. So we end up with 4n squared plus 3 times 2 is 6, 12 n, uh, plus 9 is it? Okay, minus, wait a minute, minus 4 n squared plus 4 n plus 2, 4 n squared plus 12 n plus 9 minus 4n squared multiplying out the bracket minus 4n minus 2 and that gives us the n squareds cancel that gives us a 6 4 no, an 8n and plus 7 that is not can't divide 7 by 4. Okay, so is the statement true for odd numbers? 